Hey, what's up you guys? Mondo the Watch Guy here. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing a double unboxing on two watches that were sent to me by Chris David, aka Week on the Wrist, over from the League of Watches. Now, big shout out to him. Everything came safe and sound, buddy. Thank you so much. Big shout out also to Calvin Tan, who is a mutual point of contact between everyone in the league, the League of Watches, which is an Instagram group of a bunch of guys who all have watch channels and watch pages and love to talk about watches. Now today we've got two very interesting watches that are both available on AliExpress at the time of filming right now. So if you are interested, I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to pick up one of these guys for yourself. They're not affiliate links, I just leave them down there if you want to peruse and pick one of the watches up from this video. Those watches being two watches that are actually a lot more similar than you'd think, even though you wouldn't originally think that based on the type of watches that they are. And those watches are one, the Heimdaller Marine Master Seiko Homage in bronze, as well as the Escapement Time Type B Flieger. And those two watches are really cool. Again, both available on AliExpress. The Escapement Time for around $100 at the time of filming and the Heimdaller around twice that amount, which is around $230, I want to say. Also in the packaging are two watch straps that were sent to us by Vario Watches. Now Vario is a micro brand company that makes very classic, very vintage styled pieces that are super cool, a uh, really popular micro brand company that makes super stellar watch straps as well. So I'm super excited to get into those two watch straps and I will try on the watch straps on the two watches. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and flip the camera around, get a quick wrist check and get straight into these two watches. Alrighty guys, so here we have the two watches that were sent to me by Chris David, AKA Week on the Wrist. And on the left here we have the Heimdaller Marine Master Homage in bronze. And on the right we have the Escapement Time Type B Flieger. Now in front of these two watches we have the two Vario straps that were sent to me. Now, I will try both of these on both watches. I don't think either one of these two straps will work on the Heimdaller, but I think both of them work pretty well on the Escapement Time Type B Flieger. We have this sort of double uh, canvas style NATO strap. And as you guys can see, we have a little bit of leather right here, as well as the quick release on the inside right there seen probably a little bit of wear from being sent around all over the place but that's really nice we'll put that to the side and here we have the silicone strap by vario put that to the side which is a really, really soft, supple sort of silicone, which is just really nice to touch and feel. It's got this sort of texturing on the underside of both of these. I don't know if you guys can see that texturing, but really, really nice, really soft. Feels like an eraser, like one of those big erasers you had as a kid, but watch strap, which is really cool. It's really soft. This one has the quick release as well, and And this is really nice. I actually just received my package from Vario. So Vario actually sent me watch straps, which will appear in a video pretty soon, guys, hopefully. So super excited to try those on a couple of my own watches. But before we get into these two watches, guys, I very quickly want to go over my own wrist check. And as you guys can see, I am wearing my Lego Aachen 39 millimeter on my wrist today, which felt like an appropriate watch to wear because we are unboxing a Type B Flieger today, and I have my own Type B Flieger on my wrist today by Leiko, an authentic German brand that made actual Flieger watches for the German military at the time, uh, during World War II. I believe Leiko is one of the three brands, major brands, that made Flieger watches for the German Air Force or the German uh, pilots. Uh, one of them being Leiko, the other two being Stoa, and IWC being the most prominent one. At least I think that's true. I don't know that much about my Flieger history, but I'm pretty sure that's accurate. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below if, I'm, if I am mistaken. But really cool watch, made in Germany. You know the Germans make good stuff. Ha! That's a dated joke. But really nice watch. Got this on the Watch Gang Wheel Spin, and it's been in my collection ever since. And it's a really solid watch. 
only one major gripe with it, which is the fact that this movement is non-hacking. But other than that, I think it's a really solid watch, really solid option. And I love wearing this thing, especially during the summer. It's a really cool summer watch. And now, guys, let's go ahead and get into the other type B flieger that we have for unboxing today, which is the Escapement Time right here. So we'll move this to the side. All attention goes to this Escapement Time right now. And really nice cursive. No one writes in cursive anymore, except me, apparently. Um, I primarily write in cursive, but really cheap packaging. I mean, it's just a cardboard box. That's pretty much it. I think there's some dog hairs from my dog on there. But uh, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and get into the watch. There we go. Really nice watch, guys. I'm super impressed with how this watch looks and let's go ahead and get it, get it out of the packaging really cool watch guys i think that if you're in the market for a flieger watch i think this would be a good place to start looking especially if you're looking like on the budget side you know you get a lot of really nice things from it you get blued hands at a hundred dollars at least according to the website it says that they are heat treated and that that's how they get that blue hand effect on there which is really impressive now keep in mind you're not going to get the horological history of say a Leiko or a stoa or an iwc when you purchase something like this but if you're looking for a cheap watch that has that flieger aesthetic then i think that this is a really solid option to go for sapphire crystal seiko nh35 movement screw down crown 300 meters of water resistance and blued hands as mentioned uh, you get this really cool funky orange backed leather strap as well so the orange backing on here is really unique i didn't expect that i also didn't expect to see such nice detailed engraving on this case back which is really really nice and you get that sort of fighter plane on on the back etched on the back there which is really nice quality and really nice to see at the 100 dollars mark stainless steel sapphire crystal waterproof to 300 meters made in china of course and escapement time right there and overall a really nice watch guys i think that this uh you know ticks a lot of boxes especially if you're looking for a type b flieger at around the hundred dollar price point so let's go ahead and try this on wrist and then we will move on to the heimdaller bronze marine master so that's what it looks like on wrist guys and i think that it looks really really good on my wrist it's got really good dimensions as well 42.4 millimeter case about 49 and a half millimeters lug to lug, so it is getting a little bit up there in lug length, but pretty understandable when you consider that it is a Flieger watch. Only 12 and a half mil thick, about 12.4 mil thick, so it's got a relatively good thickness. And 20 millimeter lugs. The leather strap is pretty nice as well. No branding on the buckle, so it is what it is, guys and no branding on the screw down onion style crown either but there is a little bit of a hole like a indentation on there don't know what that's about but i think overall the aesthetics and the look of this watch really really work now let's go ahead and move on over to the heimdaller bronze marine master so guys here we go the heimdaller marine master in bronze let's go ahead and take it out of the sleeve heimdaller and let's go ahead and take this out really really nice go ahead and take it out of the box and here it is guys the heimdaller marine master seiko homage in bronze and i think that it looks really really good i think a lot of things work especially if you're looking for a bronze marine master homage definitely the idea behind this watch definitely uh, the demographic for anyone who's looking for this type of watch but don't want to buy the Seiko version they want to get maybe a souped up version of this watch more affordable version of this watch then that is the point of this particular watch it's for those who are looking for this Seiko style uh, dive watch my biggest problem with this particular model this Heimdaller model that I have right here in my hands is that the bezel action is really bad in my in my opinion so I, I can't, um, I'm gonna try and turn this on camera for you. That's as fast as it's going, by the way. That's as fast as I'm trying to, it's completely stopped. It's completely stopped, basically. I haven't, um, yep. So I'm stuck around the eight o'clock indice. Trying to get, 
past that. There we go. We're moving now. One more time. Oh. Okay, there we go. It's a little bit smoother. Still not great. Still not a passing grade by any means. Just something I noticed and something that I thought I would let you guys know in case you guys are eyeing this as your next purchase. You do get some text on that dial as well. Marine Master Automatic Professional 300 meters. Shark logo at the 12 o'clock. And overall, the aesthetic is really nice. I mean, it's got really nice hands, really nice applied indices, double indices at the 12 o'clock, single block indices at the 9 and the 6 o'clock, date wheel right there at the 3 o'clock. And overall, it's just really, really nice, but you have to be a fan of the aesthetic of the original as well as this homage, this particular homage. You have to be a fan of how this watch looks, and if you are, then this watch is a pretty good one, I think. I think if you're looking for what this watch accomplishes, then this is a good place to start, and it's bronze, sapphire crystal, crown right there at the 4 o'clock, date wheel, Seiko NH35 movement as well in this watch, so also powered by a Seiko movement, but we'll get over more of the similarities between this watch and the uh, escapement time. Really long Tropic strap as well, guys. Really, really long. I mean, it's nice, it's good quality, but it's just really, really long. I mean, look at this thing. It looks freaking long. Maybe the idea is to throw this over a wetsuit, but it's just really, really long. In all fairness, I do think it makes up for it on wrist. So let's go ahead and throw this on wrist and show you what that looks like. So there it is on wrist, guys. And once it's on wrist, it actually works really, really well. Uh, I think that it looks really, really good. That goes for the Tropic Strap as well. It is really long, but I think once you have it on wrist, I think it works and it's really good quality as well. You get the Heimdaller buckle right there as well. And also in bronze, I believe, which is really, really nice. And I think it works, guys. I think if you're looking for the Seiko style watch in bronze at a cheaper price, I think the Heimdaller is definitely something to look at. Now, keep in mind that I experienced some problems with the bezel action. Now, that doesn't mean that you're going to necessarily have those same problems. It's just something that I noticed on this model, and this model has been shipped around the world, so I don't know if something happened along the way, but it's just something that I noticed when I was handling it, something I thought I should bring up as well. But overall, I think that it's really, really nice. I really like that second hand as well. I think that this watch looks really, really good on wrist. You get a 43 and a half millimeter case dimension, 49 and a half millimeters lug to lug, about 15 millimeters thick. So it is a little bit of a thicker watch and 20 millimeter lugs right there. So this watch can be swapped out for a bunch of 20 millimeter straps options though. As we'll see in a little bit, I don't think all straps work on this particular watch. So let's see what this watch looks like on one of the Vario straps that we got today. And here's the Heimdaller on the first Vario strap, the silicone strap, AKA the strap that should work best with this watch. Personally, the color combination, I'm not a fan of it. Obviously this watch is a bronze watch and this strap is like a light blue slash gray uh, silicone strap, but I mean, it's nice. It feels really, really good. And I don't absolutely hate the way it looks. I just don't think it particularly works. I think if it were the black silicone strap that Vario offer, I think that would look a lot better, but I leave that up to you guys. And now let's go ahead and see what it looks like on the other Vario strap. And there is the Heimdaller on the two piece NATO strap by Vario. The strap is really nice. I think the quality is there, but I just don't think that this works. I mean, some people have problems with dive watches on leather straps. I think that this is just as questionable, if not more so. So I don't, I don't think it works. I threw it on just for giggles. You do get Vario branding on both of these uh, watches. I'm sure you guys noticed on the last one and on this one as well. But yeah, I personally am not a fan of the color combination or how it looks, but it feels good, feels nice, feels really, really good quality, but it's it's up to you guys. If you guys like how it looks, great, um, but personally not a fan. But let's go ahead and see what the escapement time looks like on this strap. And that's more like it. So this is what the watch looks like on the 
Vario two-piece NATO strap. And I think that it really works. Obviously the military vibes of the Type B Flieger combined with the military vibes of the Vario olive green and brown leather strap. I think that it works. I think that they work together. I've seen people venture and put you know, different types of straps and stuff on Flieger watches before, and Leiko actually have now ventured into putting their Fliegers on metal bracelets, which uh, I don't know. I don't know if it completely works. I don't hate the idea, but in practicality, I'm, I, I personally don't know. But I think that if you are going to venture and put it on a NATO strap, then this is something to consider, guys. And that's what it looks like on that. And now just for fun, I'm going to go ahead and throw this on the silicone strap as well. See what that looks like. And here's what the escapement time type B Flieger looks like on the Vario silicone strap. And personally, I feel like I shouldn't like it as much as I do, but I really like it, guys. It looks good. It feels good. You know, it's definitely interesting. It's it's I think it works a lot better as well because the colors on the escapement time type B Flieger are just a lot more neutral which complements the strap I think really really well and it it's really comfortable guys I mean this is a really comfortable strap and it works really well in my opinion with this particular watch so there you guys have it and now guys without further ado we're gonna go ahead and see what the loom looks like on this watch the Heimdaller and my Leiko just for comparison and then we will get into my final thoughts and now guys the loom the loom is pretty solid on these three watches. Now I say three watches. I have the Heimdaller Marine Master in bronze on the left. We have the Escapement Time Type B Flieger in the middle. And we have the Leiko Aachen 39mm on the right, just for reference, especially for the Escapement Time Flieger, so we can see kind of the differences between um, entry-level Flieger versus a more expensive Flieger. And you guys can already see where this is heading. But what type of loom is it? The Heimdaller utilizes what they call Japanese C3 Super Luminous, which I'm sure they mean Super Luminova. And that was so Hermione of me. Super Luminova. And the watch in the middle uses BGW9, which personally I prefer the frosty blue loom over the green loom. I think it looks better. But at the end of the day, the only thing that matters to me is that the loom burns bright and the hands are definitely burning brighter on the Leiko Aachen than on the Escapement Time Type B Flieger. So the more expensive watch here still has pretty solid loom on the hands, not so much on the inner markings of the dial, which apparently that's a thing with Type B Fliegers, the loom on the inner markings of the outer dial and inner dial, those are pretty much gone and the hands are also gone on the escapement time type b flieger so no surprises here the cheapest watch has the worst loom the more expensive flieger watch has pretty decent loom on the hands and the dive watch is outlasting them all so no surprises here so guys, before moving on to my final thoughts, just wanted to share some similarities between the two watches. Both of these watches can be found on AliExpress. Both of these watches are powered by the Seiko NH35 movement. Both feature sapphire crystal. Both have a screw down crown with screw down case backs. And both offer 300 meters of water resistance, oddly enough. A few noticeable differences are the aesthetic differences, one being a flieger, one being a diver. The choice of material, steel versus bronze, rubber versus leather, although Heimdaller do make a leather strap version of the bronze Marine Master homage, as well as a date complication on the Heimdaller. Ultimately, to me, the biggest difference is the price discrepancy. The Escapement Time Flieger comes in at $100 before taxes and shipping, while the Heimdaller comes in at around $200, 170 to 200 I found this being sold on two different stores, so you can find it for around $170 to $200 before taxes and shipping. And something a little bit different that I also wanted to do was score these two watches. So I actually wanted to score these two watches and give them a score out of 10 and just say kind of why I gave it that score. So I'll start with the Escapement Time Type B Flieger. I'll give this watch a solid 7 out of 10 
and a couple reasons for those one i think that the materials are really really solid it uses sapphire crystal seiko nh35 movement blued hands 300 meters of water resistance which is a little odd for a flieger but still really impressive and i will take it and it all comes in at a really stellar price tag of $100. I think that that's really good value right there. Now, the reason why I didn't give it a higher score is simply because I think that, you know, at the end of the day, it is a really solid watch, but it could be found on AliExpress and it doesn't really have the horological history. The brand is, you know, a, a new brand, I guess you can say. It doesn't have the horological history of say a Leiko or a Stoa or an IWC. Definitely not that horological history behind this particular brand. It's an AliExpress brand. It's a Chinese watch, but that doesn't mean it's not a solid watch. Now, the Heimdaller on the right, I was less a fan of it. I still think that, again, Sapphire Crystal, Seiko NH35 Movement, Screw Down Crown, 300 meters of water resistance. It definitely offers a lot of the same things, but the price tag being set at 200 makes it a little bit less of a steal for me. A little bit less value in that sense but it makes sense why this one would cost a little bit more. So that's why I gave it a six out of 10 because it has the materials, but it suffers from being a little bit too expensive for my taste and also, you know, not being an established brand. So like the similar things, pretty much that could be said about all AliExpress watches, um, but there are some exceptions for sure. But there you go, guys, the watch on the left, seven out of 10, I don't know what to call them, Mondo points and the Heimdaller on the right, six out of 10. Mondo points and Mondo points is the new official term. I will uh, judge all watches in that way based on initial impressions for unboxing. So I will give it a rating after my initial impression. And then once I do a review on these watches, I will give it a score after spending some time with it and either the score will go up and I will have fallen more in love with the watch or the score will go down and I would have fallen out a little bit out of love with the watch. So yeah. Introducing Mondo Points, a scoring system of sorts. And now moving on to my final thoughts. So there you have it guys, my double unboxing on both of these watches. What did you guys think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Personally, my final thoughts are that the escapement time for the price I think is a very, very good value. You get Sapphire Crystal, you get 300 meters of water resistance, which again is a bit odd for a Flieger style watch because one thing you don't want is for your watch to end up in the water if you're a pilot, right? So if you're a pilot, the last thing you want is for your plane to be in the water. So still for if you're not a pilot and you just want a pilot style watch, I think 300 meters of water resistance is really nice. I think the finishing overall is really nice as well. Really simple brushing all over. The stamp on the back is really nice. Uh, you know, really legible dial. You get very nice blued hands as well, sapphire crystal, and uh, I think great dimensions as well for a Flieger. For $100, I think that it's a really, really solid option if you're in the market for a Flieger. Now, the Heimdaller Marine Master, that's a little bit of a different story, at least for me. Certainly, if you're going for a Seiko homage, a Seiko Marine Master homage, then this is a great place to look. I did have personal issues with it, so the the bezel at the bezel is um bezel's a little bit of a disaster area for me you know if you're paying for a watch it should come in a state where it's good to go you don't have to worry about you know handling it but other than that one gripe i think that the watch is very solid i think that it's a nice looking watch you get drilled lugs you get a sapphire crystal you get a really nice bezel insert Really legible layout as well, really good loom as well. The loom is pretty solid on this watch. You get the day complication at the three o'clock, crown at the four o'clock, the overall bronze construction. I think the Tropic Strap, while it is really long, um, I think that it works well once it is on wrist. The Vario straps also really impressed me. Again, I don't think either one of these two particular watch straps work on the Heimdaller. That's just my personal opinion. As it stands, I don't think the Heimdaller with that bronze case, I don't think it's I don't think it's much of a strap monster. I don't think it particularly works with any strap that you throw on it. Now, the Type B Flieger from Escapement Time, I think worked really, really well with the Vario two-piece NATO strap, as well as the light blue sort of gray 
silicone strap from Vario. I think both of these straps actually worked really, really well with the escapement time, but that's just my personal opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. But that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought. Would you pick one up? Why or why not? As always, make sure to like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Make sure to check out my giveaway video as well. We are doing a giveaway right now at this very moment. Uh, we just hit 1,300 subscribers, which I'm super grateful for. Uh, once we hit 1,500 subscribers, I will be giving away the first watch, which is a skeletonized Heritor automatic watch. If you guys want to check that out, I will leave an annotation right here as well as a link in the description down below. Make sure to check out the giveaway video so you can be entered to win one of the three watches that I'm giving away. And until next time, guys, I will see you later.